In this video you'll find out how I managed to make and publish my first game in 7 days, what place I got on the first game jam and why I didn't do any game jams ever since. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it, subscribe if you didn't and let's begin! idea of game jam came up when I had no experience at all, and I did not even finish my first game development course. I lived with a friend who knew how to draw, but didn't know much about making games either. Game jam is an event where people gather to make a game in a certain amount of time on a certain topic. We had 7 days, and topic was… You are the best! Aww. Honestly, I was disappointed with this one, because anything could be fine for this topic. Gladiator fight, racing game, sport competition, whatever game it is, as long as you are winning, you are the best. And that's why I was upset, because it doesn't give you enough limits to push yourself out of comfort zone. We spent entire day brainstorming for original idea, and in the evening I just said, okay, there is a guy. And? And he trying to run away from women. Why is that? They trying to catch him because he's the last guy on the planet and you know since you're the last one you are probably the best. Good job. And you know what? What? Could be a parkour game. I don't know why he said yes to that idea, but now each of us faced a challenge. And we had 5 days left. You know, since my friend gonna pop up in the videos from time to time, let me tell you that his name is Stas, alright? So, he gave me placeholders and since I had some experience, I knew how to make it jump and move around. But, if you remember, we decided to make a parkour game, and that gives us extra challenge on that week. I had to find how to make all of those movements in code, and he had to learn how to draw animations in pixel art. Luckily, in our hands we had best game development tool that was ever invented by humanity. So I just went ahead and searched for climb. And there it was, my savior. I went through his videos real quick and that was just what I need. Wall jump and ledge climb? Parkour game can be done. I spent entire day on learning these videos and applying to our project. Oh, by the way, if you make game and you use someone else's code from tutorial, is it your game or is it his game? Because clearly it's not completely your achievement, but if you let's say make a pizza by somebody's recipe, is it your pizza or is it his pizza? I don't know the answer, I know only it's a pizza time. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Around lunchtime I went to the room of my friend and he was completely fine and he showed me what he had. And dude, 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 dude. I don't know how he came up with that style and oh my god that gorgeous smile, but I knew I couldn't wish for better artwork for our first game. I took animations and I applied them to our project. And gosh, it felt so good. Like, we actually gonna make a video game and I wish everybody could feel it at least once in the life. By the morning of day number 5 we had our best guy who could run, jump, slide, ledge climb and we had 3 days left for background, enemies, sound effects, music and menu. As well we had no tiles set to make platforms and I bet he spent plenty of hours trying to make them, but it didn't look good. So we had to throw it away, he was totally cool about it and we kept simple color for platforms, because time was against us and we had to finish game before deadline. So while he went to work on a background, I was trying to fix one issue we had in the player controller. It was difficult to do wall jumps. We even had multiple comments later on in the game reviews complaining about same issue. But again, time was limited and I just didn't know how to do it. So another lose on that day and we had to move on. In the morning I found out why Stas didn't sleep entire night. He was completely fine and he showed me this. And man, how good is that? I don't know about you guys, but even an entire week would be not enough for me to pull off something like that. I took main tool of game developer and searched for parallax background. And there it was. It looked like an actual game. On the same day he tried to draw an enemy, meanwhile I had my own struggles. I was trying to code it. Artificial intelligence for Unity developer with barely one month's experience is a hell of a task I would say. Best I could come up with is to make an enemy who flips when he doesn't see the ground under his feet. And when he sees the player, he kind of getting into the rage mode and he will follow you even if there is no ground. If enemy, and I mean her, reaches the player, then mwah, deadly kiss. That was a productive day and we went to sleep, prepared for the last one. By noon we had everything ready, we only had to polish it. Stas made these cool buttons for menu and around 5 o'clock we were recording sounds for the game. Man, it was just… You know, we took our phone and we began to improvise, so all of the sounds in the game were recorded in that room, even that sweet kiss. 
Around 9 o'clock my girlfriend tried the game and it was difficult for her. She made it, but it was difficult and we were upset because we knew it's about the wall jump that I couldn't fix. But we kept in mind that on Game Jam people who play in these games are the very same people who make in these games, so they should be fine. We were doing some polish together and it was 11.20 on the clock. My girlfriend, his girlfriend, both of them waiting behind the door in the living area, waiting to celebrate. And we, you know, we all sweating in front of the computer. Because what? You need to make a web page for Game Jam? Well, somehow we managed to do it in time. Everyone at the party was angry, because how long should we wait for you, man? But we did it, and we felt a relief. Oh yeah, and immediately we got the first comment. I mean, that comment just blew my mind. It was two years ago, but I'm pretty sure I had goosebumps. I wish everyone could feel this. I mean, when your hard work somehow appreciated, it's just so nice. Then later someone posted a video playing our game and that just sent us to the moon. We went back to party, eating, drinking, talking about game, how difficult it was, how happy we are and I even got a reward. My girlfriend gave me as a gift this toothbrush and I still have it till today and I'm getting feeling I'm bragging a lot so let's get to conclusions. And now I'm gonna tell you why I was disappointed. Any submission on a game jam was rated at best. And I had a feeling it's happening because people were trying to get good rates at return. You see, you could rate somebody if you submitted a game. So I felt like people don't want to make you upset so they wouldn't get bad rate in return. But I wanted to be upset. I wanted to be stumped and crushed to see the difference between me and a real game developer who knows what is he doing. Like, don't tell me you're doing great. Tell me what I can do better. I wanna improve, I wanna learn, I'm not in kindergarten anymore. But it was more than two years ago and maybe my thoughts were silly. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, as I thought I wouldn't get what I need here, I submitted our game to another game jam, just out of curiosity. It had 1000 submissions and our game held a top 7 spot on popularity page, which was really impressive for me. Well, enough talking, let's see the results. First game jam and second game jam. Not bad, right? I expected to be somewhere in the end of the list, but here we are, somewhere close to the top. Later on, videos from both YouTubers came out and we were mentioned in a both of them. One day you're watching YouTube and you're shocked how people can make a video game so fast and another day you've seen your game on YouTube. Just wow. If you want to play the game it will be in the description, as well as a link to my free of frustration course if you want to make your own video game. Join the community, subscribe to the channel and remember, we don't play games, we make them.